YouTube, what's going on? Horse Racing Gamer here. Welcome back to Gallup Racer 2004. It is another year in this series. This is year 21 for us. We have survived 21 seasons in this game. Uh, it's the longest I've ever played a Gallup Racer series. Uh, prior to this, I think the longest seasons I ever gotten through probably is like seven. So we have already tripled that. Um, we have quite a bit going on here, so bear with me. Um, quite a bit going on here. I'm just going to pull out my spreadsheet and uh, we'll get going here very soon. All right, so we only have five horses now. Nightclub, who has... Uh, been doing very well for us. Now, granted, Nightclub is how old? Nightclub is on the verge of retiring. Well, I don't know how long we'll be able to run Nightclub. Uh, he's six years old. As of now, Regal Soul has still been doing uh, great for us as well. Four G1 wins. Uh, Pale Fear. It's been a couple of weeks since I last played. Um, Pale Fear is still not doing bad for a D-ranked horse. Onyx Prince, our... Uh, Onyx Prince and Sharp Charm, actually. Both of them have been... Uh, Sharp Charm, I can't recall if we raced with her before. I'm pretty sure we have. Um, yeah, we did, and uh, we came 11, so that wasn't too bad. But Onyx Prince, uh, he's not looking terrible. We still want to get him his first win as well. And um, these are his stats revealed so far. Now, he is out of Night Breeze from Great Bolero. Um, and yeah, we just want to see what we can do with him. Um, going forward. So just kind of getting back into the swing of things here uh, once again. And I believe uh, breeding for this upcoming year will be really nice and exciting. So as always, uh, looking forward to that. Appreciate you guys' love and support on the channel. And... Uh, yeah, so... I don't really think I have any major goals, at least for the first half of this season. Um, nothing I can think of. I know I said I maybe was going to take this upcoming season a little bit more seriously, but uh, again, we're still we're kind of in a weird transitioning phase because we're getting some of these horses uh, retired that we've been racing with for a couple of years, and then we have a lot of newer um, originals that we are, you know, um, able to race or coming into racing age. So um, we're, we're kind of, like I said, in that transition period. So once we kind of have a set um, a set roster of horses that we know we're going to have for the next couple of years, I think it'll be easier to focus on certain goals. Because uh, Nightclub, I mean, realistically, he's still doing pretty well. And um, I don't think I need to retire him yet. Regal Soul, kind of the same thing. I may retire him at the end of this year. Um, he's still doing well. He was able to win a, a G1 last summer uh, for the SP Mile. He came first in a G2, and then he came second in the King Cup Autumn. So he's still doing pretty well. I don't plan on actually retiring him for breeding. Um, so we can still probably continue to race him. We might just stick him to G2s this year if G1s aren't too competitive, or if they are too competitive for him. So that is the update, and let's finally get into our first race coming up here soon. I'm getting a lot of text messages right now, kind of at the worst time. As soon as I start recording, people want to blow up my phone. But somebody wants to challenge me. I did say I wasn't going to do it last season, which I didn't. Do I want to do it this season? Um, not yet. Maybe, like I said, second half of the year.
All right, so here we go. G3 here, it's a field of uh, 14. And uh, I know Pale Fear has done a lot better. In fact, this horse is ranked rated D, but um, yeah, this horse is rated D, but I feel like he's performing a lot better than that. I mean, despite his power rating only being a 36 and his heart rating being a 44, I'm surprised he's D ranked because these stats I've seen on other horses that are ranked A and B. These same exact stats. So I'm not sure why Pale Fear is only ranked D, and he's pretty much at his peak this year. So he's only going to get worse after this season. So it's a little interesting. It's it's rare to see a horse like that that's only ranked D. I don't come across those too often. All right, here we go. Pretty good start here. In fact, fantastic start. Um, don't bump, don't bump. Oh, that was so close. I just nearly bumped that horse right there. And, um, yeah, we, uh, it's going to be an interesting year. Like I said, I don't really have a set goal yet because, uh, it's just a weird transitioning period for us in our stable. We're just kind of getting new things going. And like I said, uh, nightclub and regal soul probably retiring at the end of this season. Um, I would imagine unless I can race them again, nightclub will be seven years old next year. If we continue to race them, but regal soul uh, it depends. If he's still winning at least G2s, I'm going to continue to race him. Because, like I said, I don't plan on retiring him. So I don't know how we're going to do here with uh, Pale Fear. We're going to wait. You know, I wish the AI would get, like, inquiries for bumping you, but they don't. <laughs> it's kind of annoying. All right, let's see if Pale Fear has got any drive. Yeah, you lost one head-to-head, -head, but the race isn't over, buddy. Keep fighting. Keep fighting. Pale Fear still digging in here. I think this is what I like about this horse. I know it's been a, a while since I played, but you see, he really digs in. Even losing a head-to-head, -head, he still fights. It's crazy. And we're still going to get fifth place, I believe. Yeah. So that's not... Um, it's not a bad effort... At all for Pale Fear. We were supposed to finish 11th. So that is something I do really like about this horse. He is, he's, he's special in that essence. Because, like I said, he's a D-ranked horse. But I always feel like he is fighting uh, so much better than what the odds are projecting him to finish. And like I said, he it's weird. He gets discouraged when he loses head-to-head -head, uh, battles in the stretch. But as you can see, he fought on and got us into the money. Other horses would have completely dropped out of that race and we would have finished, you know, 12th or last or whatever. But Pale Fear, somehow, even though he was still discouraged, he kept fighting. He kept fighting and, like I said, got us into a money place finish. So, very, very interesting. And they want to put him in a grade two. I'm going to say, let's go for it. But yeah, look at this. I mean, 74 speed, so he's pretty quick. 80 temper, which means he's mild mannered. 70 staying power or staying. Uh, 83 feel. He's not a bad horse. I just don't understand why he's ranked D. Like I said, his power is not great, but okay, I've seen horses with worse ratings. And he has no abilities, but 17, um, 17 lifetime starts here and four wins, one place, one show. Um, so yeah, I don't understand why he's only ranked D. Now, this horse, uh, Onyx Prince, our own horse, you see his stats. Uh, and granted, Onyx Prince is probably still going to be a late developing horse, but you see where his stats are now. He's ranked D. Yes, he's got all these abilities. I mean, for those of you that have played this longer than me, do abilities really dictate a horse's rating or at least help that a horse's rank ranking, I should say, <clears throat> more often than not? Because as you can see, Pale Fear has no abilities, but his stats are, like I said, on par with A ranked to B ranked horses. And I'm assuming the only reason why he's a D-ranked horse is because he has zero abilities. I can't imagine if he had abilities, he would still be ranked D. And granted, abilities don't always make a huge difference in a race. It all depends on the horse. Aptar, uh, no. Um, so yeah, that, that's a little interesting to me, but I guess we'll figure it out, right?
All right. Uh, you guys may see some editing here and there because, like I said, I'm getting a lot of text messages right now, some of which are important. So I'm having to uh, address those, of course. And uh, yeah, rather than stop the recording, which makes no sense, I'll just edit, uh, you know, where there's more longer periods of silence of me not actually doing anything. So just in case you guys are wondering. So Sharp Charm, our three year old filly. Getting a chance with her again. Um, we're a long shot. We're not expected to do well. But the good thing is we're going to hit our goal, which means we keep her. And there she is. Sharp Charm. I don't know really anything about her. Her toughness is a 77, which is great to know. And that's about it. Out of Golden Monster from Great Bolero. Now, I don't know if she has that... Um, that ability that Golden Monster had that I hated, close race not good. I hope she doesn't. It could be a latent ability, and I hope it's not. Um, but it's not on here now. Usually any foals that we've had um, out of Golden Monster, that ability was automatically like there for the latent abilities. The fact that it's not showing up now, I'm hoping that's not the case. Um, usually it would show up very quickly, like within their first race or two. So we'll see. But um yeah, you know, let's figure Golden Monster out. Excuse me, let's figure out Sharp Charm. <laughs> Golden Monster, unfortunately, has long departed from us in the world. So, Date Ruler still has a record here, as he does at a lot of tracks. Let's see what Sharp Charm is able to do. Almost a perfect start. I don't remember where she likes to run. Let me look at my spreadsheet. Maybe I wrote it down. I did not. Okay, so I don't know where she likes to run. I'm just going to keep her right here until we figure it out. Like I said, there's no point in, you know, trying to figure it out now because I have no idea. I'll have to just monitor my uh, after race uh, grade for a position and we'll see if it's bad. If it's bad, then I know I got to switch it up. If it's relatively OK, then I know, OK, uh, we can keep her where she's at and just kind of adjust like that. I feel like she's running pretty well right now. Um, she's not using too much stamina and. You know, we're still able to keep up. Well, granted, she's moving a little quick. There's her stamina, which, again, she may be another late developing horse. That stamina's not great, but we'll, we'll see. Okay, let's get going. Like I said, we're going to hit our goal regardless. So I'm just curious how she's going to perform here. Uh... Furlong and a half to go. She's not doing terrible. I don't know how long or how much she's going to have left in the end. But yeah, she's not doing awful considering the fact that, you know, we're supposed to finish last anyways. We may beat, what, only one or two horses? One horse? That's fine. We didn't come in last place, so I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Like I said, she's still a late developer, clearly. It appears like she is. I hope that's not her potential as a three-year-old. <laughs> Position was B, so, you know, we lost points for that, which means not ideal. So, either she wants to be leading completely, like nobody ahead of her, or she wants to be further back. I'll try having her further back next time and seeing how that goes. So, um, yeah, let's, let's try, I'm going to try running her as a closer next time around and seeing how that goes. And our favorite time of the year, we have new foals upon us, but let's look at who we already have. So Tiger's Eye, four star future. Most of our foals end up having great four or five star ratings. This is Aunt B's first. Well, yeah, this is Ambi's first um, with Sedate Ruler. And, of course, we'll still have another year for Tiger's Eye. Really excited for him. Um, I think I think he'll be a breakthrough horse for us. And then we have Zodiac Queen I'm also really excited for. She looks just like her father, Arctic Crop, one of my favorite horses in this game. So excited for both of these. I, I hope... Tiger's Eye and Zodiac Queen are like our best Gallup Racer originals. Because, guys, keep in mind, Great Bolero 
It's so technically our best uh, original that we've been able to race, race and retire successfully. Uh, everybody else, we haven't had the luck of really being able to retire. Nightclub, um, our six-year-old right now is going to be the second horse, but Nightclub has not been nearly as successful as Great Bolero. So I'm really excited for this Philly Zodiac Queen and Tiger's Eye. But let's go look at the new ones. Crafty Gospel out of Ant B from Desert Diver. And remember, Desert Diver, we ended up finishing undefeated with him. So I hope, I hope this cult is going to be as, as great as his father. Nice look to him. And then here, another Philly, Cosmic Circle, out of Night Breeze from Arctic Crop. She is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, I, I think things are going to be looking up here for us. All of our falls, I think, have great potential. So I'm just, I'm so excited um i do have names you guys put so let's go ahead and do those you know i like these but i want to use the names you guys got so here's the name that i wrote down let's see queen b did i name a horse queen b before actually uh queen b would have worked if this horse was a filly could name him king b <laughs> in fact let's name him king well no that's nobody's name but i want to use queen b but Queen Bee really wouldn't make sense for a foal that doesn't come out of uh, Ant Bee. So, we're going to go ahead, and, go ahead, excuse me, and name, I was going to say both of those at the same time, uh, Crafty Gospel King Bee. That's what we will uh, adjust his name to. And we'll see how he'll end up performing for us down the line. King Bee. Ah, I didn't mean to do that. Really, I'm, I'm just looking forward to, to these these foals and what they're going to be able to do and then we'll go ahead and name her she's tempting uh, what other names are there on here honeybee star catcher fiery dancer pink gemstone pink gemstone i like that you guys come up with some awesome names so we'll go ahead and name her pink gemstone and uh ah uh, every year we have foals it's like you know their race debut can't come fast enough, you know? Like, no matter how many times we go through this process, I'm always so excited for, um, you know, new talent in their future and just whether or not they'll be as great as I hope they are or whether or not they will be solid horses, but, you know, nothing Hall of Fame worthy. But Pink Gemstone, there she is, and King B. So excited to see what they're going to do for us. All right. Um, I was editing a spreadsheet here and something did not change. All right, here we go. Let's go racing. I don't know who we're not. Collins, what is your problem, bro? I don't want to challenge you. I don't want to race you. Maybe halfway through the year, I'll change my mind. I'm not completely writing off uh, rival challenges this year. But like I said, halfway through the season, uh, we'll see. It's like, dude, stop pestering me. I'm not going to race you. All right, here we go. Onyx Prince. We got another shot with him to try to improve. Got to finish 10th or better in this grade three. So there's Onyx Prince. Son of the Great Bolero out of Night Breeze. And uh, yeah, I'm really hoping he's a late developing horse. His stats aren't great right now. Um, but yeah, I'm just hoping he's a late developing horse. And uh, let's see what he's able to do. Here we go. As usual, I am uh, recording a lot here today, probably two or three hours worth. So episodes will probably end and start at random times, just an FYI. It's the easiest way to get content out to you guys on a, like I said, uh, regular basis. Makes editing a lot quicker since I also operate and manage other channels, other YouTube channels as well. So it's, I always wanna make sure I'm giving you guys plenty of content um, on a regular basis. So, here we are with Onyx Prince. I love that he can pretty much race anywhere as long as he's not in last place or first place. He should be pretty comfortable anywhere in uh, the pack, in the midst of the pack. So easy. So that is great. And uh, like I said, I just hope that he's a late developing horse, which means, you know, he will be good over the long term. You may uh, struggle, you know, as a three and four year old, but 
If he's a late developing horse like I think he is, by the time he's five years old, he should be at his peak. So we have plenty of time with him, and I think we'll be able to do just fine. Okay, let's get him on the move. Two sevens, that's good. Okay, we gotta get him moving now. Get him moving. All right, here we go. Let's get a jump. No revolution. It's fine. Stamina, we'll have to monitor. We just gotta finish 10th or better. We're gonna lay off the whip right now. He lost the head to head, but we'll have him fight back. Come on. Onyx Prince is fighting back here. We're definitely gonna finish better than 10th. We'll take it. That is a this fourth or fifth? Fifth at least. Yep. Still a money place finish. We're supposed to finish 10th. That is a success. We could have done better. Um, if I would have gotten started a little bit earlier, we probably wouldn't have lost a head-to-head. -head, but still, we finished five places better than we were expected to finish. And we got pretty good grades on everything. We were almost close to having all double S's. So, great. Lady uh, Cook is happy. And, yeah. But she's not satisfied. She's like, an average performance. And only you are satisfied with that. Like, lady, shut up. Golly. Let me do my thing, okay? Let me do my thing.